<clears throat> Hello everybody and welcome to Sonic and the Secret Rings. Aw oh, man, it's great to not be able to say Zelda the Wind Waker. But we are starting with another game that was on the Wii system. Or, no, Zelda was, the Wind Waker was on the GameCube. What, I, what am I talking about? No, this was the first Sonic game for the Wii. And as such, it has motion controls and all that good stuff. Um, so, before we start anything, we go to Adventure Mode, where the main story is. And here's my uh, little practice file, my, um, kind of my test file. In fact, can I delete that? I'll, I'll see. So... We just get straight on to the world select screen, and the only th uh, place we can go is the Lost Prologue, which I, th I think is kind of weird, especially since the whole framing device of this game is going to be explained to us shortly. So yes, the map prologue, the map is the Lost Prologue, paragraph one, skill ring A, even though that really has nothing to do with anything right now. This was also when uh, Jason Griffith hey, was still the voice of Sonic. <sighs> Boy, is it that late already? What time is it? And I think this was when he really got really into huh? the role. You are the blue hedgehog. Ah, what the? I really like the style of these cutscenes. I am Shara, the genie of the ring. You know, like Aladdin in the Magic Land? Don't think I've read that. Have what? you seen the movie? You've got to be kidding me. It's the best story of all the Arabian Nights. Or at least the second best. Good enough but for Disney to make it. Point. Please, look at this. Hey, the page is blank. <sighs> Our world, the world of the Arabian Nights, is vanishing. Vanishing? But how? This is the work of an incredibly evil spirit, the Eraser Jinn. Eraser Jinn? Yes. He used his evil magic to become even more powerful. He could not bear to simply remain in the book any longer. And so he has begun to set the inscriptions free, absorbing the power of the book itself. The power of the book? If our world ceases to exist, then not only will those stories be silenced forever, but the Eraser Jinn will then be unleashed into your world. That definitely sounds like trouble. But what do you want me to do? I want you to stop him. You must stop the Eraser Jinn. Only you. The Blue Hedgehog can do it. Hmm. So this guy needs someone to put him in his place, does he? I suppose I can help out with so that. So why do the Arabian be, Nights need Sonic? But this is all just something out of a storybook, right? How am I supposed to do anything about that? That's easy. You are my master, having called forth the Genie of the Ring. As such, I am able to grant your wishes. Simple wishes, at any rate. Bringing you into the world of the Arabian Nights is within my power. What? And that's a Inside simple wish, apparently. Book. Now please, place the ring on your finger. Like this? Ouch! Hey, take it easy! My apologies, O oh Master, but now the contract has been sealed. I am contract? thou, and thou art I. Wait, As that's the wrong game. Of the ring, I am now bound to protect you. Now, rub the ring. I rather like, not. Like this? Oh, master of the ring, what is thy wish? Hut two, hut two. How about a handkerchief for starters? Make that a few. 
thanks. You're a lifesaver. You see, I caught this cold yesterday, and... Please, be so, serious. So obviously okay, the okay. best okay. remedy is to be running. Those hankies, though. Oh, please. Someone tell me that this isn't really happening. All Most right. fans would tell you that. Let's go. Take me to this world of the Arabian Nights. As you wish, Master. Quit it, will you? My name's Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. And that's what counts as a catchphrase. Very well then, Sonic. The legendary hedgehog. Here we go, into the world of the Arabian Nights. Okay. Now this is first class. Here we go. Okay, so now that we've actually got that started. Three, two, one, go! Tilting uh, the Wii Remote to the left and right will move you in that direction. Yeah, you basically go forward by yourself and, and uh, you just steer Sonic. People, a lot of people had a problem with this, I didn't. And that's just one of eight tutorials. <laughs> Things that didn't even need to be explained. Uh, it's gonna be a long while. But, thankfully, it's only one video. And it will be one video, whether you guys like it or not. If I have to suffer through this, it'll be three, three two, two, one, go! And this is your jumping tutorial. You press the two button to jump. Hold the two button down and you can jump higher. Hold it down to charge. And that's pretty much it. You'll... <coughs> You also slide when you charge up your jump. And what I'm doing here is... I think the game itself calls it like a jump cancelling. I'm just pressing the 2 button again. And you can pretty much do that indefinitely. Space allowing. No, such thing as a no problem. Dream. No problem indeed, Sonic. On to paragraph three. Three, two, one, go! And this is teaching us how to do... While jumping, quickly move the Wii Remote forward to perform a jump dash. This has been a staple in all Sonic games since Sonic Adventure. Although I really like the way this feels. Yeah. Like, the Wii Remote does kind of give it a weird, like, I guess textileness. Like, it feels natural to just want to thrust the remote forward. If there's any, like, if I'm going to start this game complaining, oh no! I died on the tutorial. That's just great. If there's any weakness to this game, I would say e e this uh, this tutorial section is way too long, and they could have they could have consolidated it like all these jumping huh. tutorials. No problem. Just be like, learn how to jump. And how to jump dash. Instead of making every... Because this game is actually just all about jump, knowing when to jump. So they could have made it all one, uh, all one mission. To 
to learn how to jump, how to jump dash, how to homing attack, which is what we're going to do now. Three, Three two, one, go! You can do a homing attack while jumping when the lock-on mark appears. There's the symbol. When the lock-on mark changes from Shara. green to red, move the Wii remote forward quickly. Shara, please! I know how to do this! Uh, the thing is, she didn't do this in my practice file, and maybe it's because I, like, accidentally skipped her, but god damn, you do not need to stop the entire game to do a tutorial. So, the Wii version of Sonic Unleashed did this too, and I don't know why. <laughs> Let me play the game. And this is where, like, Ego Raptor's whole uh, philosophy on game design is, where no you should at least be able to get, get the basics by just playing the game. You know, I couldn't uh, be experimenting with the buttons, knowing that the 2 button, and forgive me if I keep calling it the A button, um, it's just that when it's in this, uh, in this configuration with the Wii Remote, when I'm holding the Wii Remote horizontally, my old school gamer brain calls it uh, A. <laughs> because Nintendo. But anyway, if I'm going to be experimenting, I would know that the 2 button is the jump button. Three, two, one, go! And I would the one know that break. the 1 button is to break. Which I never really uh, used, but there's a lot of things I don't use in video games, to be perfectly honest. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> Press the one button to break. Uh, Press the one button yes, to Shara, break. I know! Other than this is a tutorial, I know I think we're idiots. <sighs> like nothing anyone else hasn't said before. And for some reason, I got a medal for that one. Us prologue. Three, Three two, two, one, go backwards. Keep the Wii remote tilted back toward yourself to back up. Okay. I, I actually find it somewhat easier to put, uh, put the Wii remote like upside down. Tilt it upside down. <laughs> no problem. Of course, there's never a... Well, I'd say never time, but maybe there is a time where you want to back up, but I don't know if you missed something, and there are collectibles in this game. I don't know why you wouldn't just to start the level. This Quickly is... press and release the 2 button to do a small jump. I've actually... I've actually finagled it so that, like, Sonic looks like he's doing, like, a parkour leap. No, just made it. But since that's kind of an environmental thing, like... It's not super reliable. Uh, 
And... Yep. I promise that the mission select gets better. But I figured I'd end that the way that these videos Three, will work. Two, will make one, it seem better to You be can doing. grind on places that have squared edges. And I just like doing that. <laughs> Riding returns, although it's not super, huh. no it's not super pre prevalent like it was, like it will be in several Sonic games. And we're done. Level up. Let's game, match game, mucha game. What's your name? I'm a common rider. All right, <laughs> let's let's get on with it. And now the game opens up to us. Okay, so who's this guy who's trying to make the world disappear again? You mean the Eraser Jin? Yeah, that's right. Can you take me to him? There is no need. What do you mean? He's here. about talk about close shapes maybe you know where i can get my quill sharpened too sonic that's him he's the evil spirit who is striking the words of our world from the pages you you must be that blue rat that just got added to the story nice voice Don't there you know anything i'm not a rat i'm a hedgehog <laughs> i am a razor jinn I am the one who shall carve up this world as I see fit. Yeah, well, if you're gonna do that, can you at least wait until I'm done reading it first? Sonic? You're embarrassing me. One hundred of the one thousand and one nights have already been wiped clean. And soon, the rest shall join them, night by night. And then, with the seven world rings? Seven world rings? You have gathered the seven world rings for me. Have you not, Shara, my dear? Are you still going on about that? I told you those things don't even exist. And even if they did, I'd never give them to you. Oh, wouldn't you, though? <sighs> I suppose a suitable punishment is in order then. Look out! Sonic! Aha! <laughs> so, this is how judgment is dealt, is it? Hmm. This should be interesting. You listening? Bring me the seven world rings before the arrow of flame extinguishes. You do not. Huh? Your life is Next, I think I shall collect the life of King Sharia. <laughs> the king is the creator of the Arabian Nights and the main character of the story. No, he's not. With my speed, we'll just have to make sure we get to him first. If anything, the king's the main antagonist of the story. Because he's the reason why she's leaving 1001 Tales, Shahrazadi. Anyway, that was the Lost Prologue, and next time, we go into the Sand Oasis, and the game finally gets interesting. I will talk to you guys then. I've been Nesmex, you've been you, and this is finally Sonic and the Secret Rings.